time, since 2011, we are on the brink of launching American astronauts on American rockets from American soil. And now it's time to meet the brave Americans who will be flying on these spacecraft developed right here in the United States. Would Mark Geyer, Bob Cabana, Leanne Corrette, and Gwen Shotwell please join me up here. The crew members for Boeing's test flight will come first. First, a man born in Miami who grew up in Atlanta. He's a retired Air Force colonel who served as a test pilot and a fighter pilot. He was selected as an astronaut in 2000. He piloted the Space Shuttle Endeavor for the STS-126 mission and the Space Shuttle Discovery on its final flight, STS-133. Introducing NASA astronaut Eric Bow. The next astronaut for Boeing's first test flight is a Philadelphia native, a retired Navy captain. He piloted Space Shuttle Atlantis for STS-115 and commanded Space Shuttle Endeavour on STS-126 and Atlantis on STS-135, the final flight of the Space Shuttle program. He has been an integral part of Boeing's CST-100 Starliner program, introducing Boeing astronaut Chris Ferguson. Also joining the crew of Boeing's first test flight is a California native who is a Marine Corps Lieutenant Colonel and an F-18 test pilot who has flown more than 2,500 hours in more than 25 aircraft. This is her first space flight, introducing NASA astronaut Nicole Anapu Mann. Now let's meet the crew members for SpaceX's Demo-2 crew test flight. From St. Anne, Missouri, he is an Air, Force, uh, an Air Force Colonel and flight test engineer who was selected as an astronaut in 2000. He flew aboard Space Shuttle Endeavour twice, first on STS-123 and then on STS-130. Introducing NASA astronaut Bob Bankin. Also joining the SpaceX Demo 2 test, his hometown is Appalachian, New York. He is a Marine Corps colonel and test pilot. He was selected as an astronaut in 2000. He piloted Space Shuttle Endeavour for STS-127 and Atlantis for STS-135, the final Space Shuttle mission. Introducing NASA astronaut Doug Hurley.
Following certification, Boeing and SpaceX will provide regular crew rotation services to the International Space Station. NASA astronauts who will fly on Boeing's first mission to the station are, number one, a man who grew up in White Bear Lake, Minnesota. He became a Navy commander and a test pilot. He has flown more than 3,500 hours in more than 40 aircraft. He was selected as an astronaut in 2013, so this will be his first space flight. Introducing NASA astronaut John Cassida. The second crew member on this mission was born in Euclid, Ohio, but her hometown is Needham, Massachusetts. She is a retired Navy captain and a test pilot who was selected as an astronaut in 1998. She spent 322 days in space on two space station missions, Expeditions 14 and 15 and Expeditions 32-33, and she was commander of the International Space Station. Introducing NASA astronaut, Sonny Williams. And finally, we're going to meet the, ast the NASA astronauts who will fly on SpaceX's first mission to the International Space Station. The first crew member is from Pomona, California. He is a Navy commander, a naval aviator, and a test pilot. He spent almost 3,000 hours flying in more than 40 different aircraft, made 400 carrier arrested landings, and flew 24 combat missions. He was selected as an astronaut in 2013. This is his first space flight, introducing NASA astronaut Victor Glover. The second crew member on this mission was born in Lebanon, Missouri, and grew up on a farm near Richland, Missouri. He is an Air Force colonel and a flight test engineer. He was selected as an astronaut in 2009. He spent 166 days on the International Space Station for expeditions 37 and 38, introducing NASA astronaut Mike Hopkins. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you our commercial crew astronauts.